Okay, right here is a Manawak 4500 drag line. Now this machine was introduced by Manawak in 1947, and few people probably know this, but the first 4500 ever built was to mine coal in Pennsylvania, which is pretty interesting. Now this 4500 you're looking at right here is a real old baby, and there's actually a lot of history behind her. This 4500 was built in 1947, the exact same year when Manawak first launched this model, which means that this was one of the first 4500s ever built. This machine is so old that it originally worked on the St. Lawrence Seaway project, and then over the years finally made its way down to Pennsylvania to mine anthracite coal, where it is still working today. So now I'll take and show you around a little bit. 4500 is equipped with a bucket ranging anywhere from four to five and a half cubic yards. You can see this bucket is very narrow. This is the smaller four yard bucket for this 4500. You can see it's taken a pretty heavy beating working in the hard rock in Pennsylvania to uncover anthracite coal. The 4500 became very popular when it was first introduced by Manawak, especially in coal mining. Manawak sold a lot of these 4500s and eventually would replace this drag line with the newer 4600 due to its popularity. You can see the wide crawler pads to spread the weight of this machine when it goes to travel. Right here is what's called your fair lead, and this is to keep the drag rope further away from the front of the machine so when the bucket is being pulled in, the rope doesn't tend to fishtail, swing back and forth and tear the side of the machine apart. Now unlike a 4600, a 4500 isn't as beefy, if you'd want to call it. On the back right here, you can see your rear counterweight. And you can see where extra counterweights were stacked on the back to give this machine more weight when it goes to dig. Now I'll take you up on top of it. Now 4500 was powered by a single engine and the customer had a choice of what engine would be installed in the drag line. It was either a Cummins or a Detroit powered. Now, being that this is one of the first 4500s ever built, this particular one is Detroit powered. The engine produces 430 horsepower for the machine when it goes to run. And over here is your hoist drum and your drag drum. Now I'll take you up by the cab. Here's the inside of the cab on the 4500. As you can see, it is a lot different in the layout than on a newer 4600. Take note that the controls are all out in front of you, unlike a newer 4600 where the controls are more off to the side. A 4500 is a very difficult machine to run, and it's also much slower when it works than a newer 4600 dragline is. The main reason for that is because a 4600 is powered by two engines and also has what Manawak calls their Vicon system. Vicon stands for Variable Independent Control, and it basically allows the operator to have more control over the speed and power on the engine. Basically, the hand levers give the operator control over the engine's throttle, so the machine can work faster or slower, depending on what the operator desires. The downside of this with a 4600 is that a 4500 is a relatively cheaper machine to run, being that it will consume half the fuel that a 4600 will, because the engine is running at one constant RPM on a 4500. At the same time, however, a 4600 can easily outdig an older 4500 3 to 1. Right here, you can see your ropes that hold up the mast which in turn holds up your dragline boom. Now, 4500s had shorter booms than a newer 4600. The boom can range anywhere from 100 to about 120 feet. A 4600 is usually equipped with about 140 foot of boom. And right here, on the top of the machine, you can see where your drums are, your hoist drum there, and in the back, your drag drum.
And on the side here, you can still see where it says Manawak. The 4500 is a 100 ton class drag line, and this machine was also offered in a stick front shovel configuration with a standard bucket capacity of 5.5 cubic yards, or a 4 yard bucket if the machine were set up as a long range shovel. Now in 1963, the 4500 was replaced by the company's new improved model, the 4600, which incorporated many new changes not only to the cabin powering system, but also incorporated the company's new Vicon system. The 4600 would eventually become one of the most popular and best-selling crawler drag lines built by Manawak, but it was the 4500 right here that set the stage for the 4600 in the future. But right there is one of the oldest 4500 drag lines still hard at work mining anthracite coal in Pennsylvania.